Good. Felt like an old friend. I did it. Um, it feels good to don the cloak of uh, levitation, becoming master of the mystic arts again. And I did it once before in Spider-Man No Way Home before this movie. So it felt kind of very familiar. Um, although, the, you know, it's, everything's evolved, including the costume in this one a little bit. Uh, Doctor Strange brings his own epic level of storytelling visually to the MCU by the nature of being a sorcerer, let alone when he's a gateway character to the MCU's next phase through the multiverse. So it's a very potent combination. And I think it's interesting to see someone as confident and as all knowing and sometimes all powerful as he seemed to be, be not only unfounded by mistakes in Spider-Man No Way Home, but also in this one becoming um, the pupil again in many ways. And evolving from that experience to being a different Doctor Strange. It reveals things about himself. It reveals other versions of himself. And all of this feeds into a really already rich, complex, humorous, arrogant, funny, anarchic, chaotic, humanly frail superhero. And it just, it spices things up and takes him in directions and stress tests him in a really positive way. The journey he goes on this film definitely results in him learning that he's better off together than he is alone, stronger together than alone. And I think the arrogance that carried him both as a surgeon and as a sorcerer of thinking he had to hold the knife, he had to be in control and that he could control everything is really undone in this with spectacular effect, as you'll see. Doctor Strange's relation with Mayoko Chavez without giving away too much is a very interesting one. And it's one where the power uh, shifts a lot. Um, she may be young, but she's got experience of something that he doesn't, which is the multiverse. And they help each other. It's a pretty simpatico relationship by the end. But there's some arrogance on both sides, but they, they, they have their clashes, they have their moments, but they definitely, by the end, make a very, 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 very powerful team. Can you describe the tone of the film? That's giving us? away a lot, but you can edit what the I fuck you want. It. But yeah, okay, okay fine, fine, fine. Yeah. Um, can you describe the tone of the film for us? Dark. The tone is dark. The tone is probably the darkest Marvel film to date. I think I can say that full, uh, f yeah, with full confidence. It's probably the most frightening as well. And story-wise, I think the most complex and enriching and one of the most epic as well. Um, but I think the tone is very much that of a Sam Raimi horror and a Sam Raimi um, action movie, a, a superhero movie, I should say. You know, he's he's got he's got a very good pedigree in that. Let alone in this, but obviously in Spider-Man 2. And I think fans of his, the schlock horror elements, the jump scares, as well as where he likes to take his heroes, will we'll definitely see uh, a lot to enjoy in this film. Sam Raimi brings Sam Raimi to the film. This is a Sam Raimi film. It just happens to have my character and a shit ton of others and um, a bit of madness in a multiverse. It was great uh, from Michael Stuhlberg, who I had a, a terrific scene with. Oh, God, he's such a fine actor. Um, to Rachel, obviously, reprising um, Christine Palmer, but also Chiwetel Hill's Mordo and Benny Wong as well, obviously. Uh, we've been on a few journeys together since the last standalone film, but uh, bringing Mordo and Christine back was was great. Um, and Wanda Maximoff, I mean, I had a tiny sort of back-to-back -back moment in the battle of all battles in Endgame, but I think that was squeezed out by many other people's back-to-back -back moments in the battle of all battles in Endgame. However, we, uh, yeah, we are reunited, but pretty much meeting for the first time in, in this one. So it's cool. I think audiences can expect a whole bunch of impossibilities and craziness, huge, massive scale adventure in the multiverse, which will blow their minds, surprise them, arrest them, um, scare them, and surprise them again, and then possibly make them laugh and possibly even cry. It's really got something for everybody, I think. People who've followed this epic biggest i think really in our culture form of long form entertainment that we have in the marvel cinematic universe's serial films will be uh yeah will be really enthralled bonkers this film's bonkers <laughs>